hello everyone welcome back to my channel as in the last tutorial we looked how we can perform the regression analysis for the 2d case and in today's tutorial i will show you how you can perform the regression analysis for the 3d case and in the last tutorial we also looked in the example where we find the best unknown parameters for the 2d straight line so that we can fit the best line on our data uh, and uh, today uh, we are looking into the 3d data so instead of line we are trying to uh, fit the plane on our data and uh, so first of all we will look into the mathematics of the plane and how we can use these mathematics and to find the unknown parameters of the plane and uh, next uh, we will look uh, actually we will apply the same mathematics uh, in python programming for the real 2d uh, 3d advertising data and uh, uh, in the end i will talk about a little bit like why we use these kind of regression analysis and why we need these kind of analysis so um, first of all we will look into the mathematics so the mathematics of the plane you know the equation of the plane is uh, simple and is a x plus b y plus c equal to z and uh, x y and z are the coordinates of your points and a b and c are the constants of in your plane and uh, actually these are unknowns a b and c and uh, a, we are trying to find the best estimates for these three unknowns in our plane equation so uh, how uh, we can write first of all we will write this plane equation in the matrix form for all the data points and uh, uh, so this matrix here in this matrix we will write over unknown parameters which are a b and c and uh, and here we just left with in this matrix with x y and one if we multiply with this matrix with our unknown parameters you will get the same plane equation and equals to we have our z uh, coordinate which are our observations and uh, here we can write this for all the points z0 is our first point z1 is the second point and um, in other words we can represent this whole matrix as a matrix which is called as a design matrix and uh, the vector of uh, unknowns we can call is as a x and equals to this vector of observations we can call is as a b so uh, we are trying to solve for x which are the a b and c are our unknown parameters and uh, if like we have only three points so uh, we can find this unique solution by solving these three points simultaneously and uh, but uh, in this case we have more than three points so the system is in uh, over determined state so we need to use the left pseudo inverse which is just a transpose a inverse a transpose so the solution is simple a b and c these are our unknowns equal to a transpose a inverse and a transpose over b matrix so now we will apply this uh, uh, concept of mathematics uh, in python programming for the advertising data and uh, we will fit the plane using these mathematics on our data so for uh, the python programming i am open your terminal and uh, I am using the Jupyter Lab to write and compile my Python program. Uh, yeah, so you can open your compiler, whatever you like. So I can create a new file with the Python 3 kernel. First of all, we need to import some important libraries, and our first library is the NumPy library. Uh, we need this library to create uh, arrays and to perform operation on arrays and the next library we need is the pandas library and this library is used to read the data from the files for, uh, like from the text files or from the csv files and used to interpret the data and the next library we need is the matplotlib library and this library is required to plot the data and to plot the results and the next library we need is the 3d library which is used to uh, plot the 3d data and uh, we need to import the MPL toolkits MPL and plot 3D as axis 3D. So these are the libraries we need. And the next thing we are going to load over a data file. And uh, for this, I'm going to use the pandas library and I'm going to read the CSV file because my data is in the CSV file and my data is in advertising.csv. And the next thing uh, we will print this data and see how, how it looks like what inside in this. So uh, inside our data, we actually have four columns, TV, radio, newspaper, and sales. This red, uh, data actually simply represents how many sales we have 
against the advertisement in TVs and in radios and newspaper. And uh, for today, we are actually uh, discarded the newspaper column. We are only using the TV, radio and sales data. So for this, uh, we need to first uh, fill our vectors X, Y and Z. And for the X vector, I am going to use the data for the TV. And uh, for the Y vector, I'm going to use the data for the uh, radio. And uh, the next thing for the Z, I'm going to use the data for the sales. And the next thing, uh, we will look how uh, will how this data looks like in a plot. And for this, uh, first of all, we need to create a big figure. For this, you need to type uh, plot dot figure, and we call this figure zero. And uh, the next thing, uh, we need to create a plot dot uh, axis. And in this axis, we are actually defining the projection of our data and. Um, we are simply using the 3D data, just type here 3D. And the next thing we are going to plot this data as a 3D. So plot 3D and your X, Y and Z. And how are you going to plot this data? I'm going to plot this data as a dot. And uh, to show the plot, we just need to type plot that show. And uh, here how our data, this is how our data looks like. So to make this plot more uh, beautiful, we actually more representable, we will actually also set the labels for the x axis, set x label and our x label should be um, our TV and similarly for the y and z label, you can type here y and z and in y we are using the radio and in the z we have our sales and the next thing we are set the title for the plot and our title should be 3d regression and now you will look our plot is more representable in x we have our tv in y we have a radio and in z we have our sales and uh, to make this plot more uh, uh, great, we need to import one more thing, which is the matplotlib widget. If you are using uh, the Jupyter notebook, you don't need it, but for the Jupyter lab, you need it to represent your plot. So this is how our plot looks like now, TV, uh, data, radio and sales. Using this mplot widget, you can actually rotate your plot, but in uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook, you don't need to uh, use the uh, matplotlib widget. And this is how our data looks like. In X, we have TV, in Y, we have radio, and in Z, we have sales. Next, we are going to fit the plane on this data, and uh, our plane equation is simple AX plus BY plus C equals to Z. And uh, we have our x, y, and z already, and our unknowns are a, b, and c. So we are going to write this equation in the matrix form, and our a matrix should be uh, here like this. The first column is of x, and the second column is filled with y, and the third column is filled with ones. So first of all, we have to write the uh, right dimensions for the a matrix. For this, uh, we need to create a matrix of ones and uh, our a dimensions of a matrix should be uh, the number of observations into number of unknowns we have just three unknowns and uh, i don't know these are the number of observations and uh, now we will fill our first column and our first column should be our x vector and in the second column we have our y vector and in the third column we have just a column of ones and uh, the next thing we have over a matrix is completed and we have over already b matrix which is a vector of z and uh, now we can write this equation and we can find the best estimates for the unknowns a b and c so i'm going to write this equation over uh, unknown vector equals to uh, inverse 
and inside the inverse we have our a matrix dot transpose of this matrix and uh, multiplication with the a matrix actually i am using this sign here at the red sign which is used to multi uh, for the multiplication of the matrix and the next we again need the a dot transpose so i am simply uh, copying it and pasting it here and multiplying it with the b matrix which is our z vector and the next thing we will print over x vector and see how it looks like so these are our three unknown parameters and uh, the next thing we are going to uh, uh, fill the plane equation here and then we will plot the plane on this data so for this we call simply plane equals to what's our plane equation is a into x so over a should be our first element in our output vector into our x plus similarly for the y you need to type x1 is over b and into y and our third element in this uh, output vector is over c which we type here too so this is uh, how we can create our fill over plane equation with our unknown parameters and the next thing we are going to plot this plane on our data and for this we need again to create a figure and uh, we will call this uh, figure one uh, one here and again we have to create the projection and for this you need to type plt dot axis uh, axis and uh, pro define the projection and we are using the 3d projection and here 3d and uh, to plot the plane we need to type ax dot uh, ax dot plot and try serve and in the try serve you need to fill your x y and your plane and uh, yes and the next thing we are going to plot over data points and for this i am going up and simply copying this thing and pasting it here and uh, if i run this uh, block you will see the plane on our data and if i rotate this you will see this is the best plane uh, for the data and this is how you can perform the regression analysis for the 3d case and uh, we are using this uh, regression analysis actually these are helpful uh, in order to learn from the past data and to predict about the future like uh, in case of uh, uh, like in case of uh, temperature if we are estimating if we want to estimate the uh, temperature for the next year so we will collect the data from the previous years and we will fit some function on this data and uh, in this way we are able to predict somehow about the temperature for the next year so this is why we are uh, we need these regression analysis techniques to predict about the future to learn from the data and to predict about the future and uh, this is for today's tutorial and uh, we are done for today and uh, if you like this video and it's helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads and uh, in the next tutorial we will uh, going to look uh, an other technique to find the line and the planes for the data and to find the best unknown parameters and which is more robust than these uh, regression techniques uh, is more robust because uh, it can also take care of the outliers and the next technique we are going to use is Renzac and uh, yeah we will look uh, it in the next tutorial and see you and bye bye